this. What's up, beautiful people? Games Music Life Podcast, episode 74? 74? 74? Is 74? I think I so. I don't fact check. So we're going with it. We're going to go with it. 74. What's 74. up, man? I'm your residential gamer, Nate here. Yo, this is Cal Kev, man. Breaker Chains, finisher of games, review of them things. Yes, 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 yes. So let's get into the pod. We'll talk about a lot of things to talk about here. We, we'll get into it. But let's start off with what we're playing as we always do. Yes. So I didn't talk about you this year, so I fear we talk about on the pod. Okay. I finished Prey. Ooh. I love the ending. I, I, I got okay. Spoiler alert. So if you if you haven't played it or whatever, I got the ending where I end up killing dude. You so killed your brother. I killed my brother. Oh, you shady! Yeah, yeah I did oh. because I felt like he was snaky the whole time. And I'm like, what is the twist and all this? I did love the ending, the fact that it was a simulation within a simulation. Yeah. And I love the fact that uh, you kind of you were all you were a hybrid, so you weren't even you were just the memories of the guy you thought you were. Yeah. I thought it was very dope, which is why I realized why you played it again because I had to rush to beat it. Because I knew when you played it again, I, it was something I had to finish. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it so I'm like, fire. so I, w- I haven't gone back. I'm going through my second playthrough now, so I want to okay. get the other ending to see what happens, um, to see what that's about. But I thought it was a very good game. All right, I man. Thought- listen, listen. If if you're gonna do the other ending, I would say do December's ending. Don't do uh, the opposite one where you trust January. Did you or think you trusted January and killed uh, and killed Alex? Most of my deci- right, but most of my decisions throughout the game was being um, kind of. Like, well, it, it was middle ground, I will okay. say. Because I saved a lot of people, but I killed some people, too. Okay. Which is why I ended up killing my brother at the end. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, but it was kind of... I love the fact they were like, you know, he's not the one or whatever. And, I, like, you know, I'm going to spoil this for you a little bit. Okay. But, uh, but once once you hear it, you'll know that it wasn't really a spoiler. Okay, so if you end up killing uh, January and leave Alex alive... The ending is still basically the same. Is it? Yeah, you still end up back in that room, and they ask you the same questions. Really? Yeah. Okay. So, it right. really so okay. So I might, difference. I might not go back to it again. <laughs> but I haven't seen uh, December's ending where you escape. Where you escape? Oh, you yeah. know what? I looked that one up. Okay. Okay. So I because the thing about it is I, I knew I probably won't go back and play that one, and when you come on, you escaped the escape pod. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had an option to do that, of course, and I didn't choose to do that one. But when you do the escape pod, it really just um, it does a countdown, and then. Of course, because it is a simulation, you find out that that you you it's basically you're in a simulation, and it says, "Okay, he's not the one." The game ends. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Oh wow! That no, yeah. that's fire. That's so fire. I looked that one up because I like I wanted to see what that was about. Because when I didn't take make that choice, I didn't know there was another ending that you just said. Yeah. Which is why I wanted to play it again to see what would have been. But I figured it wasn't gonna be too much different. Yeah, I mean, still play it, but you know, what I'm yeah. saying? It, it you still come to that same ending where you're in the room again. I will say though, once you get to that part where. Um, where basically the, the the enemies just keep coming. Uh-huh. It's like you're just running around. You're just running from room to room trying to get to whatever you're trying to get to. Oh, it's yeah. Like, like once you get to that end part, yeah. it, it, like, it's no point in even fighting. Oh, man. See, I, I made <laughs> like, that mistake and kept fighting. For, like, the first, up like, an hour or two, I nah, was just you fighting. Might as well just dip. Oh, I, I just kept running. Yeah. Just, I just kept but running. But, you know, it's a game that's built like that. Like, yeah. you have to kind of figure it out. Like, you know, it's not worth fighting all these enemies that, right. you know, just keep on running. So. Right. Phenomenal game, though. Yeah, it was the, I it will definitely say, definitely, definitely caught me off guard. I started playing uh, Witcher 3. Okay, oh, I still gotta get that man. Yeah, it's I on sale. I get. I I definitely advise you to get it, bro. Okay, you I'm know? gonna have to do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. But um, but that's it, man. What else? You, what are you playing? Uh, man, back on that 2K. Okay, you know, pretty much put everything else back down, man. Getting that my team right. I'm I'm hunting for a uh, Amethyst Jr. Smith card for the right price. You okay. know, just uh, trying to get that LeBron Jr. dynamic duo rocking. And Nadir has it. He got it for the uh, Xbox. Okay. So um, while my mom down here, they bought him that. So he's been playing on Xbox. He's been going nuts. He got his character. His one. His because he just plays the the builder character. He doesn't he do does my the, team. Okay, the my player. So I'm gonna actually gonna do the my team thing, but um to see what I can do because definitely the finals got me hype. Yeah, one to play, but um so I want to definitely do that because for it to be just like mutt like it is on Madden, I think it'd be dope. Well, I want to play that. Definitely my favorite game mode, especially once you figure out how to start working the market. Okay. I'll show you all that stuff. When okay, you're ready, so yeah, I'll definitely need to get a tutorial on that. But that's, is that it? Is all you playing? That's it, man. Okay. Yeah, I, I put Prey down, man. Put okay. Oh, you know what? Actually, I started playing Guitar Hero. Really? Yeah, man. I forgot how much I love that game. Guitar Hero's fire. It is fire. Yeah. You know, one day I'll bring it. One day yeah, I'll bring yeah. it. But it, I would love, I, honestly, I would love for you and the, uh, uh, me, you and the wives to get down and play it. Because honestly, I always saw it as one of those games I wanted to get into, but I was kind of intimidated by it. Mm-hmm. So I would love to. Yo, it, I ain't going to lie. It's hard. Is it? It, it is hard. I'll be cool. With, yeah, yeah I'll be cool with that. Yeah. Because you know? another game I like to play too, which I think the Xbox dropped the ball on, they should have kept going, was that daggone, uh, that trivia, that movie trivia game oh, came with yeah, the controllers. Yeah, I know what you're talking I about. It on there somewhere. I forget what it's called. Seen it. There we go. Seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. They, sh- they should have kept it up. They should have kept that up. Party games game. have a, a big space that's Absolutely. not getting filled right now. Absolutely, man. Definitely bringing people together to have fun because. 
the, dig- the way it is with the internet, man, no one gets together anymore. Right. I think that'd be dope. Online play killed that yeah, pretty much. Online like party games, there's still place for you. All right. So, yeah, man. So, uh, you know, definitely what we're playing. Um, I'm going to pick up that 2K, though. Yeah. All right, man. So let's get into these stories we got. So Digital Foundry, who's the same team who um, Xbox invited in to look at the Scorpio and look at the specs and kind of see how it ran. And they gushed over it. They loved it. Um, they released another video recently where they talked about how Destiny 2 for consoles, it's not possible to be able to be ran at 60 frames per second on consoles. So they're pretty much wiping Scorpio out. They're wiping Scorpio out. They're okay. saying additionally with the Scorpio, it's not going to be able to be ran at 60 frames per second. So it goes against a little bit, what not a little bit, a lot of what Xbox, Microsoft said, which is that natively everything will be played at 60 frames per second. But mm. Digital Foundry was saying that the CPU can't handle it. The GPU is fine. It can handle all the flops, all the floops. But the <laughs> CPU is what can't handle it. So oh, it wow. can't run 60 frames Man, per second. This is bad news for Xbox. It is. Right off right off bat, that's bad news. So everyone's like going, clamoring on the fact because E3 is in two weeks. Yep. Everyone's on the E3 at Barley. Nothing is being leaked out. But you know those leaks are coming. It gotta be next week's show. We'll probably be. have a, have some leaks to talk about. Um, but anyways, they're not. They're they're saying that that's what's going on. So it can't run sixty frames. That's terrible, man. Yeah. Uh, Microsoft's got to be feeling that because it's kind of like it seems like everything that they were promising for the uh, for the Scorpio, it's like slowly but surely getting knocked down. Yeah, like we're getting less and less. And they're scaling it back. Yes. Now I will say though, I didn't have this on on the list. Though. I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the little the, the the game system thing they have in in uh, the Microsoft for the rental of the games. Things of that nature. That um, pass thing? That, 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 that pass, pass thing, or whatever? The Xbox pass. There is a place for that. And it's for the people who just want to pick up an Xbox, a casual gamer. Um, it It's not a bad deal, man. It has a lot of good games in there that somebody, you know, better than EA Access. But <laughs> I think they might have hit, hit it out the park with that. If they start getting games a little closer to release. Then, yeah. Because, I mean, like, if you ask me, Horizon's pretty much done everything it's going to do at this point. You mm-hmm. know, like, uh, for me, I forgot about that game yeah. already. You know, yeah. I didn't play it. I was hyped about it when it came out, but now it's time has kind of passed. You start giving me those games, like, six months after release or whatever, mm-hmm. I'm in. You, yeah. you can have my $120 a year all and the time. That's my, exactly what you said. That's exactly my space on it. If you don't have the games when they first come out, just give them to me two months. Yeah. Two months after they came out. Let me rent them, whatever, and play them. Um, but I think for a casual gamer, picked up that it actually be a pretty good deal for him because for two hundred was it is it ten dollars a month? So it's one hundred twenty dollars a year. That's two games. Yeah, you know, you you add on Xbox Live, which is sixty, so one hundred twenty dollars. I mean, hundred two hundred eighty two forty. Oh, 100, no. Yeah, 120 plus uh, 60 for the live. You're right, 180. So yeah. that's three, four games maybe that you if you buy them. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad. That that almost yeah. makes it sound worth it. But I got to see what those titles are going to look like first because, I mean, you know that they're going to try that finesse move. Oh, absolutely. They're going to give you Earthworm Jim and be like, here you go. Absolutely. Enjoy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Sonic Legends. Yeah. Um, but I do think that it could be the precursor in them trying to discount digital games. Cause, um, I, no, that would be dope. That would be dope. Because I, I, I don't understand. And we talked about that before. Yeah. Why, you know, digital games are not discounted more. So um, so I just want to put that in. I did play with it a little bit um, couple, you know, during the, earlier in the week. And I was like, you know, this isn't bad. You know, I've been thinking about starting that uh, that 14-day free trial. Might as well, man. That's oh, what I got right. mine on. Yeah. I, I make sure I got a reminder on my phone to stop it. <laughs> at that 14 days. Do not charge. No, right. no. Do not. <laughs> do not. All right, man. So we got another week in the books. Another week of what's going on with the Nintendo Switch. Man, nothing, man. Uh, regret, <laughs> tears. You know what I'm saying? Pain from all the owners. That's uh, that's pretty much about it, man. Hey, man, when you when you when your biggest release for uh, for your system is the uh, was it Super Street Fighter that came out like four years ago, right? Um, and they're they're, they're putting the price tag of fifty nine ninety nine on that. Board. Did Arms finally drop or whatever? No, Arms hasn't dropped yet. It's coming. It's coming. So. Nah. <laughs> hey, and I hope you guys are enjoying. Right. <laughs> well, shout out to Jay, man. Shout out to Jay, right? I hope you hope you enjoying that, fella. That thing's a coaster at this point, man. man I bet that thing's so dusty. You're right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, um, so yeah, so Far Cry 5, that actually, um, there was some stuff that came out about that. Uh, said to take place in Montana. Yeah. We'll be centered around a religious cult. I think that's very dope. That is dope, man. But like they're pushing the envelope a little bit, man. They're they like are. they're getting touchy. But Far Cry always seems like they are the franchise to just go just a little bit out of your comfort zone. Did you play any of them? I have. I played Far Cry three. I didn't play four, but I did play three. Four and was I played, the one that was at the zoo, right? Uh, that the one that was at the zoo, or was it? Three? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't. Play, I've never played any of them. Really? Never. Oh man. I've never got. Well, do you like open world like sandbox type style Absolutely. games? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Like if you like like uh, Grand Theft, well, not Grand Theft because uh, it's, it's first person, but if you like those real big sandboxes like that, mm-hmm. you'll enjoy Far Cry. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
I'm sure the hype might get me, man. I might end up playing it because I, you know, hype's been getting. I didn't, I didn't expect to play Prey, and I loved it. So I mean, it's just so surprising that they would actually try to tackle like you know, what I'm saying, a religious cult. Like yeah. it sounds like they're about to be going deep. Are they going to touch on some issues? Yeah, they're man. they're going to piss some people off. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be some picketing. And that makes for a good game, though. What is it? Uh, Jonesboro's Bapto Baptist going to come through? The the folks that come through picking oh, oh, yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I might make me want to play it more. <laughs> you know, I want to see because like that's the, one the controversy. Yeah, yeah, when the hype gets in, the controversy comes. Yeah, I definitely want to check it out. So yeah. I might end up doing it. Yeah, I might, I'll probably I, pick it up. The trailer that had the uh, the, the the pastor and he was sitting there reading the Bible and come to, the Bible had a gun in it and everything. Yeah. I'm like, that's it looked pretty fire. It looked pretty you know fire. It looked you know they, all they, CGI. They, they going out there. I like it absolutely. So listen, that's all we have. Video game news. There ain't nothing going on. There's the embargoes yeah. going on with everything. Everybody's trying to keep keep mum because E3 is coming up. But you yeah. know the leaks are gonna start. Um, coming out so when they do we'll definitely bring them out absolutely alright man so Wonder Woman the movie is actually coming out this weekend yeah. Are there, you plan on seeing it uh, you know what my wife wants to see it a lot so really? uh, yeah I probably will end up going to go see it either, probably, maybe Friday maybe okay. Friday if we can uh, uh-huh. take her out to go see that and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it a lot of people are saying it's the best uh, you know DC movie to come yeah. out so far that's what they're saying and like I like Wonder Woman's character so I started like um, reading about her more and more and I always looked at the Wonder Woman we had when we were younger um, the cartoony aspect of it she just looked like the pretty girl who came in with the invisible uh, ship which I thought was dope and yeah. the lasso <laughs> but there's a darker side to her that I started reading more and more into some of the comics like she's like the hitman like basically she's the one who does the killing oh, wow. for DC whereas like that's one thing I never liked about Superman I didn't like about Batman they don't kill they nobody. Kill nobody but like Wonder Woman was the higher gun like, hey, she was the one that came through do that kill. dirt yeah she would do the dirt which is kind of against cliche of what women we look at them as far as being more lenient than men and i like i like that spin on it that she's the one that comes in and does the kill and it's actually kind of dope yeah i mean hey listen i wouldn't expect nothing less man yeah. plus seeing her like batman versus superman like she was a little bit she was, she was a highlight of that movie you know what i'm saying she was she was popping up where yeah. she needed to be man like it seemed like she was a, a couple steps ahead of them at all times well she's been there for so long yeah you know what i'm you saying know? <laughs> you know what i'm saying she's been around she knew the game absolutely I uh, so i'm looking forward to it ign actually gave it a 7.9 um, so they reviewed it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to take the wife. I know she wants to see it as well. I feel that. All right, man. Let's get to these sports, man. So, Doc Rivers and Paul Pierce criticized KD for joining the Golden State Warriors. I mean, that sounds like a little bit of salt. Oh, come you know what on. Yeah. They ain't in the playoffs no more, man. <laughs> How hypocritical is it, though? I mean, it's pretty hypocritical. Absolutely. Well, actually, you know, I won't say that so much because the big three in Boston, man, they were old. Yeah. I don't mind teaming up once you get old to go for that last ring. But in your prime, it, it's a little bit shaky. But I, de- I feel you. I feel you. It's a little hypocritical. The part that got me, though, was when uh, Paul Pierce said that, though. He was like, it's, I'm not wired like that. And I got I to gotta re- I gotta remind <laughs> Paul Pierce of the two things that he did. One, he definitely ushered in KG and, uh, and, uh, and, Ray, Allen. and Ray Allen to come in and join him. And they won it the first year. Yeah. And they were in contention. All the way out until they got until LeBron broke that team up. Yeah, because LeBron broke that team up. He did. He was he had ascended. Yeah, he ascended, and and they were done after that. But then also Paul Pierce went and went to Brooklyn and tried to team up with Joe Johnson and Darren Williams. So yeah. he'd done it twice. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So he was on both ends of it. He can sit there and hide behind it. They came to me, but you and left. He went, he went to the Wizards, man. Try oh. to have uh, <laughs> try to have John Wall, Brad Bill carry him. Absolutely, man. <laughs> so Paul Pierce, you're exactly that is you. But right. he he was an old man at that point. He was an old journeyman at that point. He was. Time, so. He was an old journeyman, yeah. so I guess he could hide behind that. Um, I just thought it was funny, man. I mean, I know me and you talked about it at length about, you know, LeBron starting this whole thing with uh, players going. And, you know, on one end of it, you could say that these guys are free. They can take their talents anywhere they want to go. And the other side of us is just like, yo, this is kind of weak. You guys the spirit need to- of competition is crushed exactly. when you do that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I, I get it um, on why everyone's critical of it. And, and it's a valid point. It's a valid point. I do say that the finals are good. I'm, I'm looking forward to them. Absolutely. I you mean, know? how can you not be? Absolutely. The playoffs were a little lackluster because, oh, you know, you kind of saw the two uh, freight trains mm-hmm. head on the collision course, but now it's time to hit. So I like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I know we, we've talked a lot about it. Tomorrow is when it starts. Yes. Um, so we'll get to see, you know, everything that happens. And I, I have some thoughts about it. So we know Golden State's gotten a lot better. They got KD. Absolutely. They were the best team in the, in the NBA last year. They uh, got KD. They lost Harrison Barnes. Lost some other key points on um, on defense. I mean on defense. I'm sorry on their bench. But I think their bench is better um, now. Like you said, I do agree with that point. But also, we can't lose fact that the Cavs got their got a player too, and Kevin Love. He had. You know, he's playing better now. Well, he had yeah. concussions last year in the finals. Oh yeah, that's and I forgot really about true. that until yeah, I looked I it too. up. And he came until, you know, game seven. He's like, I'm going to grab every offensive board I can. I'm going to do everything I can. But he was a shell of himself. 
So it's kind of like they got a good player too. Yeah. So I'm I'm just really anticipating. I really just want to see what happens. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared, bro. I, I ran go. some 2K. And <laughs> I, I tried to play as a Cavs and beat the Warriors, man. I, listen, it's not all like in 2K. I can lose. Like I can take a loss, man. Right. I got blew out, really? and I mean, I got blew out the entire game. What was it? The, what did they do? Like what did you see? It, they were just too good. Really? They, were, they were legit just too good. Like uh, LeBron was pretty much frozen. They kept throwing doubles at him, mm-hmm. and uh, we couldn't space the floor enough for me to create any room. Mm-hmm. Kyrie couldn't really do much, and Steph. Like the game, one one thing I will say about the game that they made really, really, really realistic is, uh, man, Steph would get the ball, he would run it down the court. If he had like a two on one, he would literally just stop at the three, pull up and, and shoot it. He knocked him down really? every time. Wow! Like yo, it like yeah, it, it was just no stopping him. They just hit way too many shots. And one thing that uh, that we've not been talking about, and I didn't even realize it until earlier this week, man, you realize Golden State is the number one offense in the NBA and the number two defense. Like that, like oh, I saw that. So it, it's not, it's not even that they can put up points, man. Yeah. They can keep you from scoring. Like it, it was, it was ugly. I mean, I got blew out. I got blew out by about twenty two. Really? That just doesn't happen. Wow. Like, was, I can at least keep it respectable. Yeah. Nah, they blew me out. I was listening to Bill Simmons. He actually made a great point, and because everyone's, of course, I mean, I think the Golden State's like ninety seven percent pick to win it. Yeah. And uh, Bill Simmons was kind of like bucking against that. He made a great point. He said, "I don't." think people understand how Kevin Love can can change the dynamic of this entire series. Yeah. So I'm like, what is, you know, what I kind of dove in a little bit to see what he was talking about. And um, he says, for instance, when you take Kevin Love and put him in a corner because he can hit threes, Draymond has to go out there and guard him. He has yeah. to leave. He has to go out there with him because you can't leave him. That opens up the lane for Kyrie and LeBron. So if Kyrie and LeBron can just play one-on-one and beat their man, it could be very difficult for Golden State to – you know, to uh, to match that. Yeah. But he said that's a big if. But then also on the other end, Golden State so, does so many things well on offense that, you know, how, uh, Cleveland's going to have to play a great, de- a perfect defensive game in order to stop them and hope that uh, maybe the lights get, you know, too bright for them or what happens. But You know what? I was uh, – I, I listened to Road Tripping earlier today. I was okay. listening to this, I listened this to morning. Too. Okay. Yeah. And when they got to talking about uh, they had no Kevin Love running, they have well, no respect for Boston. No, no respect for no, Boston. But <laughs> when they got to talking about Kevin Love running heel to toe, I was oh, like, oh, gosh. yeah. Yeah, that, that that's so going to be funny. Yeah. That's going to be bad, though, versus this Gold State team. Because, I mean, Dre Goon, he's fast. Like, yeah. I mean, fast enough for a four because he's so small. Right. Kevin Love's not very mobile. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, he's, he's, he's a little stiff out there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm going to be uh, anticipating or seeing. Uh, what what Kevin Love we actually get out there? If we get the Kevin Love from those last couple games in that uh, that Celtic series, mm-hmm. thumbs up. I'm ready to go. But yeah, if he's Kevin Love from the regular season where he don't quite know what to do, kind of looks like you know he's sitting around waiting watching LeBron. Yeah. I think uh, I think Cavs gonna be in trouble because Golden State they ain't gonna be sitting around watching waiting on nobody. No, they gonna no, be they're gonna go. Their offense is a fine old machine. Um, but listen to the road trip and you bring up a great uh, topic. But um, they are a jailed team. And they're a veteran team to where they don't panic. And I, it was funny because we talked about on the podcast how, you know, it's questioning whether how good the Cavs are, or what are they doing. And they didn't care about the number one seed. They were like, whatever. <laughs> right. I guess, you know, they talk about Kyle Corbett being nervous. Like, hey, what's going on? We're not playing. As soon as I got here, they start losing. <laughs> they, yeah, well, I was like, you're right. Here, they start losing. They were like, relax. It's okay. Right. It's going to be okay. Number we're, two we're, seed is all number right. Two, number two seed is all right. We, we know we can beat Boston. They have no respect for Boston. They did. They had no respect for Boston. Um. So, uh, so yeah, man, the finals, man, I'm really looking forward to it. It starts tomorrow. Um, both teams have had a week off, at least a week off. Yeah. Um, so, everyone's going in rested, and we'll see what happens, man. I'm going to tell you another thing that's got me a little worried, man. What's that? Uh, Golden State, man, they, they've been having a nasty streak about right now. Yeah. Steph out here talking trash. They are. You know what I'm saying? They, they said are. They're having too much fun over there. We got to stop But that. they never respected them last year when they won. Before they won, remember, they won the it. so-called champs. Right. The so They won it Cleveland last year because they knew yeah. it was an asterisk on their – you know, on their belt from uh, winning the first one without, you know, because Braun yeah, by and himself. The 73 and 9 season went down the toilet. Yeah, 73 and 9 went down the toilet. So basically, in a way, this is kind of like their redemption story, too. It is, man. But I feel like LeBron has to know, like, this is the series that will cement his legacy. <clears throat> this is the this is definitely the toughest opponent oh, man. LeBron has ever faced. Absolutely. And this is like perfect storylines because, you know, in a, I, I want Cleveland to win. I'm rooting for Cleveland to win. But if KD gets his first title and he gets the MVP, I will take my hands off to him. The dude did it. If KD, uh, if KD busted down, man, is he now the best player in the league? No. Still no? No, absolutely Because, I mean, he's playing on the best team, but he's clearly the best player on the best team. To answer that question, if I took Kevin Love – not Kevin Love, I'm sorry. If I took KD and LeBron and switched them teams – Cavs are still a contender. 
they would be a contender, but who would win that series? Oh, I still have to give it to Golden State. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> I I would still say the Cavs would still have a lot of fight in them. They would. You they know would. What I'm saying? This is going to be very telling for KD because, like, you already know, I'm critical on the beta with him coming <laughs> up small against LeBron all the time. Yeah. So for him to win and win MVP means he's going to have a heck of a series and basically finally man up to LeBron, man. He's been in this shadow his entire career. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I think been, KD's going to be ready to bust him down. I hope, I hope so. not. I hope I, 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 I pray that that's not the case. No. I hope LeBron gets out there and scores 50 every game. Because these guys are such professionals, man. They're yeah. such competitors yeah. that I believe that if KD comes out, he's like, oh, okay, you got some. You showed me something. Now i got to put you back in your place. Yeah. So hopefully LeBron will be in that mode, be in attack mode, not being passive, you know, and we'll see what happens. And Kyrie's going to play big, which he always plays big against uh, Steph. Oh, yeah. I, Kyrie's reason. mad. Yeah. Did Kyrie's. He hit, was that T-shirt real? Did you see that yet today? Uh-uh. Uh, the, you know what I'm saying? If you're reading this, you can't guard me. Oh. Yeah, Ky- <laughs> Kyrie got, he got to feel it a little bit wet. Oh, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Hey, I like man, it. I like it. Let's not forget Kyrie got that mamba blood in him. Absolutely. You know absolutely. what I mean? He, he probably been on the phone with Kobe all oh, week. Absolutely. Embody that, man. Become that inner. Remember, he, you know, challenged Kobe that one-on-one. He did. In the USA game. He did. So, I think he, him and Kevin Love are the deciding factors, man, because we're so quick to, to write them off and give it to Golden State. And these guys read, too. They read these headlines. They they oh, pay yeah. attention to everything. Oh, absolutely. So, they, they got to be looking at it like, oh, word? That's how y'all feel? <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. So, they got to eat. They're out here bad. They are. Cavs they are kind of quiet. I ain't going to lie. We just ain't heard much of it. They go zero dark 30. They do. They don't talk. They have it go You know, whereas you don't interviews or nothing. All you saw was LeBron's house get uh, vandalized, which is in the news today. That was weird. Which I will give kudos to that Cleveland fan who did that. I like the fact that you're motivating him. Because that's all that was. I, I see through it. Deer sees through it, man. I saw what you were doing. You went ahead and said, you know, I'm going to take one for the team. If I get caught, I get caught. I got to motivate Bron, make sure he's okay. Yeah. And that's what that was about. I hope I hope that's the case, man. Yeah. So we'll see, man. So, man, so other news we have sports-wise, my man Tiger Woods had a great Memorial Day weekend. Wow. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. It got arrested. And I will take a step back, though. All right? When I first read the story, when I first heard the story, I, you know, the way they reported it was they had a DUI. Yeah. You know, he was out here acting crazy. I'm like, man, come on. Come on. I mean, yeah, Tiger's come, fall from grace happened tight, right, right. Eyes, yeah. But as I unpacked it and more of the, the stuff came out about it, I actually gave him a pass and gave, like, a little bit, like, just felt bad for Tiger, man. I mean, because basically he, just, he ended up just taking some pain pills because his back is jacked up still. Yeah. Um, He's had a bad reaction to him. Hey, man, I hope that you know, likely story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I hope we don't find out, you know what I'm saying, Tiger out here pill-popping animal. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Fall asleep <laughs> at the wheel, man, trying to play it off. But. He looks so bad, too. Oh, he did. He looked <laughs> washed. Oh, my Where's God. Where's his friends at, bro? Like, come on, go baldy. Like, I mean, I'm going to put the picture up here. You guys hey, take a look listen, at it. Uh, what, what? I'm going to just go ahead and throw it out here right now, man. You notice that uh, that his, his arrest information, it wasn't no combination on there. <laughs> like, all that went out the window. <laughs> oh, you were black. Yeah, you are black. You are a black guy. Yeah, you are black guy. Yeah, you're all black that combination yeah. is, is Stop out here. Stop it. Yeah, uh-uh, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, Tiger just got started in the game too late, bro. I feel so bad for Tiger Woods because, like, you remember when Tiger Woods was the man? Yeah. Like, you know, what I'm saying, ask ask Little Day Deer about Tiger Woods now. He's like, who? Right. He's he a, had. I remember he had a golf game or something. They I broke remember. him all the way down. They took him off the video game. Everything. Yeah, man. they did take him off. They took they? him off. Uh, so. Yeah, it was. It definitely was a fall from grace, man. That damn that uh. Wow, he's a golfer. Like, bro, you supposed to be able to play golf till you're a hundred. Now, with him, his back is jacked up. Get it right, bro. He got all the money in the world. I it mean, might, I, it might I know be they time try. to go. I think he's been chasing it for so long that he's just done. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you man, know? sit back, enjoy that money. I think it's done. Yeah, enjoy it, man. I mean, he lost a lot, you know, with his divorce or whatever. But wow, took it yeah. to the cleaners, man. She yeah, she, yeah, she it to did. A rocket. Yeah, she did. All right, man. So, what are we listening to? Yeah. Um. What have I listened to, man? I went back and listened to Jid again today. Okay. Yeah. I went, and as we started talking about uh, the uh, Drake thing, yo, Drake really killed Meek Mill, bro. He like, did. Like, he really, like, he. I just started, li- I, I don't know what made me listen to Charged Up. It came on, actually, I had a radio uh, station playing, and listening to Charged Up came on. Okay. And I'm just like, yo, this is really good. And I'm like, let me listen to the other one. So I went and played back to back. And, like, I don't know who wrote the songs for Drake. If he wrote them himself, I don't know. <laughs> so the tent was definitely popping. But he really killed Meek, man. He really ethered it. He did. You know, like that was that was like Drake hitting his pinnacle. It was absolutely. Like, yo, this guy, he could do anything. At yeah. Point. Absolutely. He, uh, it was it was definitely a lot. But yeah, I went back tried to tried to enjoy that Bryson a little bit more, and uh, the more and more I listened to it, I realized that uh, either the tent robbed Bryson of more songs and sucked all the <laughs> talent out of him. Pause. Um, but Bryson Tiller might be done, man. 
I don't think he's done, man. Like that was a good background music album, and the album I, I won't yeah. kill it. It was all right. Check like, our review out. Yeah, check yeah. our review out if you haven't yeah. already seen it. But it was like I wouldn't listen to it anymore. It sounded dated. I think some of the songs might be old. And, you know, you know what I'm saying. I can feel that. You know, my mom said it's for girls. I was like, you know what? You're probably right. You yeah, it, it probably tore well. Because I mean, I listen to it. All I hear is a guy whining, and crying, and complaining. Oh man! But for a girl, it's probably like just what they want to hear. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? begging and, and yeah. But that's it. That's out. his pocket, though. I started listening in his features on other songs. Yeah, he he did the same exact thing. Um, uh, but that's it. That's all I've been really checking out, man. I feel that, man. Uh, I I finally found that uh, that that rap song, man. I, I've been jamming that. Uh, Frank Ocean, uh, ASAP Rocky. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I forget who else okay. was on it, but uh, everybody was going in on that. I don't know how that that snuck under the radar. Little Uzi Vert was on there, Quavo. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it, it was it was loaded. But yeah. uh, I've been listening to that man. Been listening to Damn. Like, yo, that album. I think it's better now. Yeah. Like now that I've had time to just sit and really listen to what he was saying. Like, yeah. yo, that album is getting better and better. It is. It so is. So it might be 105. I don't know. Go check out that review. Check out that review as well. I actually broke. I was actually listening to uh, Feel. And yeah, I started. Feeling so, oh, like, that's my favorite song. Going it there. is, like, man. Yeah, like that. He killed it. He kills that. He killed it. Yeah, he absolutely killed it. I'll tell you what. People hate Yah, but I love Yah. I love Yah. Yah is my joint. Like that yeah. whole album rides, man. It I, does, man. Yeah. Have you listened to it from back to front yet? I haven't, man. Okay, but I will tell you what. My, another one of my jams is, man, is God. Like, yo, oh man. Yeah. Like at first it was like, yo, man, this seems a little dubbed down for Kendrick, but like the energy, man, the soul, like it. Yeah, that album is amazing. And what he's talking about, everything in it is just dope, man. Yeah, it's, it's just fire front yeah. to back. Um. What else have I been listening to, man? Uh, I went back. I started listening to acid rap again, man. Oh my gosh! Great so we got in a conversation with me and me and my daughter. Amaya got in a conversation about that about acid rap. They're praising Coloring Book. I'm like, Coloring Book is okay, but I it wasn't acid. Rap. It was not acid rap. Acid rap was much better. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I thought Coloring Book was a little bit of a disappointment compared to acid rap. Acid rap was much better. Yeah, you know, to me, it was much better. Yeah, they need so. to get it out there. And then uh, I've also been listening to the new Hundred Waters EP. I'm actually a little bit torn. I liked uh, the Moon Rang Like a Bell uh, mm -hmm. more than I liked this. Uh, uh, this new uh, project but maybe i just gotta live with it a little bit longer but okay. that's what i've been listening to right now okay so what we got on the horizon coming out man i know two chains project is coming uh we're gonna get uh 21 savage you know what i'm saying Ooh, okay it, it, it's an album <laughs> 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 yeah, two chains uh with uh, pretty girls like trap music on the horizon man uh, uh i don't I really know what else. oh uh we got uh uh scissor scissor coming out real soon okay yeah okay so yeah, man. All right, a, lot, we, a lot of projects. We'll definitely be reviewing to. all those, man. We got a big review coming out tonight too. To check out, it's gonna be comedy. Oh, there we go. So we'll talk about that. But um, so anyways, man. So rounding out the news that you know with this week, uh, Wale's bodyguard got hit with a gun charge. What is was this, that about? Is this another L for Wallard? I mean, L, Wallard is a walking <laughs> L. You know what I'm saying? So, it, like, if you're associated with him, like, man, you got to know your time is coming. Right? You know what I mean? But, but like, what was going on here? Like, uh, why, first of all, where was Wallard at that he needed his bodyguards uh, to have a gun? Like, if he walked down the street, would you really recognize Wale? You'd be like, eh. I, I would. Even be. if you did, would you would you bother <laughs> to slow down? You'd be like, eh. Eh. Whatever, man. Well, strikes me, he's probably 5'5 five, five at best, man. And I, he probably needs a bodyguard. Yeah. So I don't even, I don't know. I, I, I was reading on the story a little bit, but um, he got caught with a gun. And <laughs> Get your licenses right. But I find it kind of, it ticks me off that why can't a normal dude just get arrested? Why is he Wale's bodyguard gets arrested? You know what I mean? Like, it's hey, like, that's how it had to be. Yeah. Like, so basically, it's like the story knew, like, man, this, you're going to take this L because you're Wale's bodyguard. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, if you're a bodyguard, aren't you a sign? You're able to carry it. Get those licenses, man. He was sounds, he was one of them dirty hood bodyguards. Yeah, it sounds like he was, he was cutting some corners, guy. man. He's had 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 his mans in them with the foams on. Yeah, and had the pistol Get some on. Real security. Yeah, man, do that. All right, man. So August I seen opens up about his liver disease. So I wondered about him. I actually liked August's first album. Uh -huh. The second one sounded like it was a cry for help, um, but. Dude's a talented as far as like he could sing. He actually yeah. is a talented singer, and he had a hell of a story on that first album. Um, so I wonder where he's been at. But I guess he he got liver Yo, disease. Does liver man. disease make you just act like a complete weirdo? I guess. Like I, I mean, he just like he started wearing like body suits and just acting. Just oh, had the plaits weird. going and all yeah, kinds he just of started stuff acting going on. Just real weird. Like Very. I don't I don't know what happened to this guy, but he is a talented guy. Yeah. I mean, not nah, family makes you do that, bro. When you let family get yeah. more like, cause he was he had a song about his mom and. <clears throat> he was, you know, his his brother passed away and all that stuff. So it was it was a lot of issues going on. Why was he wearing body suits? Though? I don't know. Yeah, yeah he might have started his romper. <laughs> I don't like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want no issues. I want this light skin dude to my. Yeah, my no doorstep. doubt, man. Keep so, do you, man. Do you, brother? Do yeah. what you're gonna do. Romp away. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, man. So uh, Nas and Lauren Hill are planning a tour. Are you? Are, uh, are they really? Is Lauren Hill gonna show up? Is she gonna be on time? No. Uh. Uh. Two things I had to question: Is she gonna be on time? 
And is she going to rock that little Don Cheadle fro? Because if she's rocking the fro, oh, yeah, I can't I can't go. It's fro time. No, I can't. I can't go. My I can't, thing I can't, is, I can't what was Nas that. thinking? Like, Maybe. first of all, who who is the audience here? Like, I mean, I want to hear if I rule the world as much as the next guy, but who was sitting around like, you know what, man? I really want to go to a Nas concert. The only thing that would make that better is if Lauryn Hill was there, too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got two artists who are, who are legends, but neither one of them put any music out in the last... Right, I mean, I mean that, that's like Jay-Z and Lady Gaga. Well, not quite, but you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hear that together. Like, No, I don't. I and, mean, and, and either one of them have any music to do other than throwback stuff. Nas' album done should be coming out soon. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Nas' album almost done, <laughs> you know? <laughs> this might invoke the Nas' loss. We might need to bring that back. I'm just trying to figure out why did he want to go on tour with Lauryn Hill? Of all people. Of all people. She's notorious for not showing up on time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. And I, I love Lauryn. I would love to hear her actually sing, but it's like, is she actually going to be there? Right. Like, who I, who did this? Yeah, I want to know who set this up. But uh, but do we are, we, are we to assume that Lauryn still has it? Oh, yeah. I, I would, that like, talent never leaves, right? Yeah, she was she was definitely super fired. But I stopped listening after oh, man, Miss Education. Man. <laughs> and when, saying, when was so. Miss Education? 99? That 2000? was a while ago, man, but it's still a certified Oh, definitely, classic. definitely it's a certified. certified. I, might, I might put that on on the way home. Oh, man, that's a great, <laughs> like, a great, that was no, a great definitely, album. definitely great. Zion still brings the thug, though. Yeah, you know but what I'm saying? Fantastic. What exactly can she perform, though? I mean, her Unplugged, by the way. If you haven't seen that, go to Google also YouTube fantastic. and check it out. Fantastic. But what is that, What could she be doing? And I wish she made some new music. Who set this up? It that's makes no sense. That's what I really want to know. It they had no one sense. song together. You know what I'm saying? They had the one if song. If I Ruled the World. Yeah. Yeah. So, but tour together like i mean maybe a couple dates doing that one song but a tour yeah like this ain't jay-z and beyonce yeah this is Nas and lauren hill like what and then, got, and then you expect lauren to be on time to every show i guess they figure hey if lauren ain't there Nas could just do his set and maybe buy her some time <laughs> <laughs> you know? but they got the lauren hills tight because they gotta get she gotta get there yeah hey you know hey we'll see so i, I don't see this scene a lot today i think this was something they threw out they probably they may have you know said they wouldn't do it they got the ball rolling but when it comes to the signing on that dotted line, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. You yeah, know, because Lauren isn't going to change her ways, and I think she might be more of a diva enough to get in her own way. Yeah, I feel you. All right, man. So, <clears throat> funny thing, man. So, Meek Mill um, says he listens to Back to Back for motivation, and the album is coming soon. Yeah. What do we think about this, man? Man, I'm starting to wonder about Meek's uh, mental health, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking you know, he might have, uh, wh- what is that? Uh, what is that? Uh, not Young, Munchausen, but... Yeah, uh, uh, Young boy itis. I mean, what are we? Nah, man. He's got. Uh, he's got whatever you fall in love with your captor. What do they call? Oh, that? I don't know what that's called. Stockholm uh, syndrome. Stockholm yeah, syndrome. Yeah, they might. Right, he right, might have know. Stockholm yeah. syndrome. So he's falling in love with Drake. Yeah, I think so. I think he's like, yo, man, <laughs> Drake did me the biggest favor. You know what I'm saying? Like he's trying to flip this into a win. And it's like, yo, Drake has already said that he was done with this. He yeah. was not gonna perform back to back anymore, and you're still like dredging it up. And then if you're gonna hype yourself up, man, listen to the intro. Yeah, you know, I mean, the intro was one of the best motivational like just pump up songs that was coined by everybody um so why listen to back to back you listen to a song about you some like dissing you i wouldn't want that around me at all bro i mean he named his album wins and losses it's like yo drake drake really he messed this boy up you know what i'm saying he might be done meek I, i'm i'm still waiting for the music i actually liked a couple of the jokes oh, those are, out. Yeah, yeah some he, of those was all right. Some, all right little music but uh i don't know man this, yeah. this is weird this hey is man weird. we've been seeing ross on on uh on instagram talk, on, at wingstop a lot yeah so my, ross might try to be trying to double down man just saying like <laughs> listen we i know this meek mill project is not gonna you know it's done i can't do anything about this guy wale went off the deep end you we saw don't what know, happened with that wallet yeah we don't know where the hell Stolly is at so MMG might be oh, done. Man, I forgot about Ex- that. See, exactly. Wow, <laughs> and he was actually nice. Stolly was nice, man. He was from Ohio. Yep. Yeah, yeah from Maslin. So MMG might just be done, man. And, you know, they, they had the world on choke for a minute. And then Meek went ahead and fell in love and got aired out. And then Wale made the – he did a Waller. So yeah. Yeah. MMG might be done. So I'm, I'm noticing Ross is in a lot of uh, – Wing stops getting that bag, and he's and music might be done for him. He can still make music, but the other guys might be done. Hey, so. yeah, MMG is looking bad, man. Ross, Ross, the best they running, man. He last hope. Yeah, and I think if they followed this blueprint, blueprint, they could have had a special organization going, man. Because all those guys was dope yeah. at one point. So sad, sad business. Oh well. Um. So <laughs> last story we got, man. So party next door sends mysterious shots directed at Drake and or Bryson Tiller. So we don't know who he's talking about. No. So he comes on there. He talks about how you know we're gonna sing your songs better than you. We're gonna write your songs for you and sing them better than you. So we know he writes for 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 Drake. We know he's written for Bryson. He's written for a lot of people. Rihanna. A lot of people. Um. Who is he talking to? 
I don't know. A lot of people were speculating that it was that Bryson Tiller. Like, I mean, he's he set shots for Drake, kind of, and mm-hmm. then he, you know, he kind of backpedals it. So it's never you tell. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm, I'm almost sick of P and D at too. this point. Yeah, yeah like, me too. He needs to stop talking. Yeah, put out some music. He sounds like it's, it's so every quarter. I would say we deal with a, something that he subliminally sends out yeah. about somebody. We know you're a ghostwriter. Get your check, man. Right. Get Shut your money. Shut up and go on. Yeah, just move on. I mean, if you can't be a star and be in a shadow of the guy you're writing for, and you can't keep crying about it, you can you or you can't keep crying about it. You yeah. got to pick your poison. If you want to just go rogue, go rogue. I mean, it's almost like when Jay was saying about when Dame Dash said he made Jay, and Jay was like, make another Jay. If you want to be, you know, you feel like you're making this guy hot or whoever you're talking about, go make your own music, distance yourself from it like The Weeknd did. Yeah. And ultimately, you'll get the respect from him. Man, poor Dame Dash. Yeah. Yeah, Dame's out here. Yeah. What happened to that guy? He, he sided with the wrong dude, man. He had the gold. He had the you goose that lays the golden egg. And he should have noticed. Like, like Jay always wins. So it's like, why did you go against <laughs> that? You know what I'm saying? He thought he could change the tide, change the course of history. Nah, it ain't happening. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. I mean, it, it would have been like that was the biggest breakup. The fall of Rockefeller was huge. Shoot, and we talk about the fall of MMG, but it wasn't nowhere near the Didn't case. Didn't stop Jay Z. No, not stop Jay Z. <laughs> so, it's yeah. not gonna stop Bros. Yeah, winners gonna win, man. Absolutely, all the time. Yeah, winners are gonna win. So, yo, man, that's all we had today. Yeah. You know, the uh, it's a definitely a slow week as far as video game news, but, you know, as we always do, me and Kev will talk about any daggone thing. Yeah. So, yeah, we got a lot of reviews coming up. Go check out our um, review on the Bryson Tiller album. Yep. And we reviewed the uh, Drop Gucci. Top Wop, that Gucci man. Drop Top Wop, very good album. Yeah. You know, don't sleep on that. But um, there's a lot going on, man, so we definitely think we'll do another compilation. Let us know what you guys think about that. But, you know, as always, man, let us know what you think, man. Leave it in the comments. We're on iTunes, Stitcher Radio. All that. Everywhere, wherever and nowhere at the same time. But drink yo, this, that agua. Yeah, definitely drink that water. But All yo, right. this is Nate here. This is Kev. Two thirds of Supergroup that is Game Music Life podcast episode seventy, whatever seventy four. Seventy four. Drink more water.